Hello, welcome to the Bradbury Young channel. I've been out shopping. I shouldn't be, really, because, um, you know, supplies cost money and uh, I haven't got a lot of that. But I decided there were some things I wanted that um, some things I needed and others I just wanted. So I went out and did a bit of shopping for some sewing supplies. So let's have a look at what I've got and um, whether or not it's something I should have bought or not. I have bought it, but you know, should I? Well, you know, you know what it's like when you start going out and start looking for stuff, you think, yeah, that's nice, I'll have some of that, whether you should do or not. But um, let's have a look at them, see what I've got. So what's first on my list of things that I've got? Well, actually, it's something I do really need. It's thread. I bought a load of thread. Now, thread is one of those things where, do you go for the budget ones? Do you go for the more expensive? Now for me, because of my budget restraints, I've gone for the budget buy. So, I mean, I've got a whole load of stuff. Um, I like these, these reels. I like buying these reels, because um, we get quite a bit on there. I think they're meant to be like a thousand yards, is it? Something like that. They are polyester, it's not cotton. You know, co cotton costs a lot more. But um, yeah, I've got a load of threads, some browns. I've got blues and greens. I've got um, so a nice mid green there. Um, a lighter green, quite like that. I'm not quite sure what I'd use that with, but I tend to use greens and that. I say blue, dark navy blue, um, a lighter blue like that and then um, I bought some other colours like I've got this red I like this colour red this looks nice I've got um, some red material I can use that with um, even got this I think it's called gold it's a gold colour so I mean yeah nice colour I love that I've also got um, this now I'm not sure what colour this was rust it says more of a coppery colour nice I'm not sure quite what I'd use that with but you know a couple of rolls of that a couple of reels of that um, I did get this small reel of blue this light blue but I'd like to have a nicer it's, it's lighter than this other blue that I've got I can hold these up together it's a big reel of, of sort of mid blue and then I've got this really light blue not sure if you can really see that particularly well but you know always using blue um, I didn't get any black or white because I've already got loads of black and white but they're always got black and white if you haven't got black and white in reels of it then um, you're going to run out quite quickly I would have thought on that because they're, they're sort of basics and then the last one I've got is some pink I've got a couple of pink not sure what I'm going to use pink thread on but I mean it might be something that's good contrast for something uh, I might decide on using that somewhere but so yeah threads I've got some more threads because yeah you can always you're always going to need threads you're always going to need more thread than you think and then when you run out of something when you're halfway through a project it's like no that stops I can't continue I need to get some more thread especially if you can't find the same thread that you'd bought originally for that project which would be really annoying so I've always wanted to have lot, lots of threads and what have I got next on my list? Chalk. Now I use this stuff which I got these and now this one I already had, I had a box of white um, chalk but sometimes you need something else other than the white because if you're marking on a light coloured chalk then sometimes you want coloured so I've got this box which has got red and blue. So I've got this, what else is in there? They might have a couple of white because it's a mixed. Yeah, so actually we've got a couple of white, a couple of yellow, and then we've got three red and three blue. So that's a mixed box of coloured Taylor's chalk which is what I've got so that's that's brilliant it's going to help me to mark up stuff um, which is always always needed when you're marking up you really want to be able to see exactly where your pattern is you know when you're trying to mark up you can't quite see and you think oh well, have I cut do I cut here and you cut wrong well pain in the backside you know so marking up so I always like to have uh, plenty of chalk for marking up 
Right, so what have I got next? Well, a little bit of, I suppose you call it hardware. I've got some D-rings, you know, standard D-rings for buckles and straps and stuff. Now these ones are gold colour. I was hoping to find some, uh, well, silver, you know, ordinary coloured ones, because I've also got some of these sliders for four straps. You know what I mean? Them things that you get for straps. Um, but I could only find them in, in like silver, nickel, drop them on the floor. Oh dear. There we go. Um, so I wanted the um, same for the D rings, but I could only find gold D rings. It's just annoying, but you know, well, there you go. And another, I suppose, sewing aid, which is hardware, is a load of these. Let me get them off. You know, them. threading things, you use for threading, for threading your needles, because um, I can't thread a needle on my own to save my life, it'd be um, impossible, I just can't do it, um, just <laughs> need some assistance when I'm uh, threading a needle, but um, there you go, so I always buy loads of them, they sort of break out quite easily after a, um, a few weeks, so um, got a load of them as well. Now next up is some material. Now. I shouldn't really bought the material, didn't really need it, haven't actually got a specific project for it, but um, sort of had something in mind, so I like this material. Now, I've never worked with this stuff, this is stretch, so stuff that's got stretch, a bit of stretch to it, not a huge amount, but um, I found this. I think this is a really nice material. Yes, it's very bright and very bright, vibrant. Um, got a lovely pattern on there, um, but it is it is a stretch material, so um, I will have to work out what I'm going to do with this material. So I'm not quite sure as yet. Um, so that's just material for a project of some sort in the future. But I, I do like that. It's lovely. Um, Another material that I bought is this one. Now this one was on offer in price, so it's a little bit cheaper, so I bought quite a bit of this. Not sure whether, was it two meters or three meters? Can't quite remember. Um, this nice blue with um, sort of flower pattern to it, that way, like that. Um, yeah, it's, again, this is a stretch material. Um, so it's got a certain amount of stretching it so I'm thinking um, a top, a tunic top maybe, um, might even might even have a go at undies as well because um, you know you can use stretch material for that um, and this wasn't expensive really um, and I got quite a bit of it so might use it as a testing project for something like that um, maybe not quite sure yet, haven't really decided. And then I also got a couple of pieces, um, small pieces of just um, like jersey cotton that stretch. Now this has got a sort of, no, I can't quite tell the colour on that. If I can get some light onto it, you can sort of, I don't know, I'm not even sure what colour that is, really. But, um, and I got another piece that's, um, that's in green. I don't know what, dusky pink, it's salmon pink. Not sure, this is more of a, a lighter green. Like I say again, it's stretch material, so yeah, there we go, some material. Um, and as, or shall I say, when I was buying it and I was thinking, I like that, what can I use it for? I did think, well, if I, if I was thinking of making some undies out of it, then I'm gonna need some, some uh, elastic. So this is sew over, stitch fold over elastic. Um, I've got some red and some blue, don't know why I went for them colours, just probably what was available. And then I've got the, the ones with, that's got like, you know, let me open this. The ordinary elastic that you normally use on, on like ordinary knickers, undies. Um, you know, with the, why not? Give it a try and see if I can maybe learn how to do that skill by, by learning how to use this, red and black. 
probably just what they had. I mean, I usually go for what's available or what's on offer. Um, so yeah, so elastic for possible future projects along with the material. I say I'm not quite quite sure what I'm going to use it for yet. So sometime in the future, I might have a project with them in. Now my final part of my shopping haul is actually not shopping really because um, a friend of mine, a um, very good friend of mine who's done a bit of sewing, wasn't really into it and she's just decided it's not for her. Um, she gave me a few items that she'd um, got and uh, it's like, yeah, okay, thank you very much. Um, kindly accepted because obviously not want to just allow things just to be got rid of or thrown away. So she very kindly gave me the items that she'd got that she knew she wasn't going to use, which is a bit sad that she's not into it, but not everybody's into sewing um, and not everybody can make it work. So I've got some items, starting with a couple of zips. Now these are very, 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 very long zips, <laughs> big, chunky, double, you know, from both ends. So I really have no idea what I would use these for. Um, these two really long, chunky, double end zips. Um, maybe they could be used on a coat or something, or maybe some other project. I'm sure at some point there will come a time when I go, I need a really long green chunky zip and I'll have them. Um, but right now, I have no idea what I would use them for. But um, great to have, I suppose. Next thing is some elastic. Now I've got two types of elastic here. First of all, this one, which is the, the round. I've got some, it's quite a large bit of this really thick stuff and some thinner stuff, which I'm dropping all over the floor, Never mind. So, um, yeah, it's quite stretchy. I'm not quite sure what I would use that type of, dropping all of it on the floor, um, this type of elastic for. But I'm sure there'll be times when I want some round elastic and I've got some, so there we go. The next bit is some ordinary elastic, I suppose, but this is a huge roll of really quite wide stuff. Um, it looks to be about, is that an inch? I'm not sure if that's an inch. Get a tape measure. Shouldn't measure an inch, you know, it's more than that actually. It is, goodness me, it's about 35 mil. So it really is a really wide inch and a quarter, I suppose, at 35 mil. So it's really, really wide. Not quite sure what I'd use that for, but I imagine there are some circumstances where you want a really wide waistband or something. Um, so this would work lovely for that. So there we go, really wide um, uh, elastic. And the last thing I've got, which is a really lovely thing, is a little motif. Um, and it's a little cat motif as you can see. Now it's an iron-on or sew-on. Um, iron-on should be okay, maybe stitch it around just to make it a bit more secure. Um, I've got a project in mind for this um, already, so I know what I'm going to use this for, but um, that's a future project when I get to it. So it is going to be used for, um, for a gift, I suppose, probably. Um, yeah, imagine so. But it's nice to have in it, lovely little motif, cat motif. I'm sure you can buy others of these motifs, um, different different types of cats, different um, animals, I imagine. Um, i say I was gifted it, so given this by a friend, so um, not sure what the rest of their range is, but there you go. Lots of things for different projects to get me, uh, to keep me going. So that's my haul of shopping and uh, acquired items. Uh, it's quite a lot there for me to be getting on with. Uh, projects I can get on with and projects I can start and projects I haven't even thought of doing yet. So, but there's a lot there, isn't there? Probably keep me going for quite some time. So I suppose really I ought to just uh, get on and get these projects going. Well, thank you for joining me and I look forward to joining you in my next video. Bye.